Thanks for joining us for another Tantrum House crowdfunding conniption. Today we're looking at hand-to-hand -hand wombat. And as always, we want to make sure you're aware that our crowdfunded videos are sponsored in part by our own Kickstarter backers, as well as by the creators of this game. Hey gang, and thanks for joining us at Tantrum House Studio 3. I'm Will Meadows. And I'm Sarah Meadows. Today we're looking at Hand to Hand Wombat. This is from the makers of Exploding Kittens. It's a cooperative dexterity game with a traitor mechanic. It's for 36 players. It takes about 15 to 30 minutes to play. It's coming to Kickstarter soon, and we were sent this prototype copy to check out. Now, we won't be sharing any actual opinions in this video, but we want to give you an idea of what the game looks like and how it's played. Also, you can check out our playthrough video where we play a bunch of rounds of this uh, on our channel as well. Let's jump in. To set up the game, you just need to place all of the building components into the box lid. Then, you'll deal out roll cards based on your player count. Once everybody knows what they're trying to accomplish, you'll set a timer, close your eyes, and start building. With one hand over your eyes and one hand in the box, everyone will try to simultaneously build the three wombat towers, starting with the largest blocks on the bottom and working their way up to the smallest on top. When the timer stops, everyone will open their eyes to see what they have accomplished. If they manage to complete all three towers, they will score two points. If they manage to complete at least two, they will score one point. Any less, and the Wicked Wombats will score. During the game, the player whose secret role is the Wicked Wombat or the Confused Wombat in the higher player counts, they will be attempting to sabotage the game. After every round, players will vote, and if the majority vote for a single player, that person is out of the game. They do not reveal their role, and the play will continue until either the green or the pink team has won the game. In Hand to Hand Wombat, you'll be testing your cube stacking skills, just like real wombats in real life, uh, in order to see if you're able to team up and work together in order to achieve architect level craftsmanship. Yes, in the game, uh, the basic wombats are just trying to, with their eyes closed, stack those towers, which sounds like it's super easy. It is not. I actually recommend that you just play around with no traders to try and see how well you do first. Uh, there is one nice thing. Uh, the cubes do have um, little pips on the side so you can like braille feel and try and see how they fit together. Um, but even that is tricky to try and count it out and get the thing stacked just how the tower needs to be. In 90 seconds, right. It yeah. goes faster than you would imagine. Uh, in the game, there are a number of additional roles that you can play with, especially with your higher player count. So you will always have uh, several good wombats and then one mischievous one who's trying to throw everything out of whack. Uh, an additional role, an additional bad guy is added uh, when you have more players where that person is confused and so they actually help the good guys team for the first two points. Once the good guys have two points, then they switch sides and start messing with you on the other side. Yes, there is also the generous wombat that you can play with. That wombat is on the good team, but they're not allowed to physically place the cubes on the towers. They can only hand them to other players. So when once you get over four players, that's a lot, a of, lot hands of hands in the box. You're only allowed to use one hand each, but it's the box is the right size so that you probably want somebody just finding the pieces and handing them to a player to stack. Uh, there is also the wild wombat who's not allowed to talk. They, they can make noises and make wild noises, but they're not allowed to speak. Yeah, that person is useless. Uh, <laughs> in the game, the way the voting works is that after each round ends, you actually all hold a hand up to the sky. You say one, two, three, vote. If anybody votes for anybody, then you pause for a moment to discuss and negotiate it's who you think well. Will's <laughs> should be removed from the game. Uh, and then you actually go back and officially vote. And if there's a majority that all point to one person, more than half of the players, then that person is removed from the game. That doesn't necessarily guarantee that you win it. You still have to actually earn yeah, the points even necessary. If, even if you actually do eliminate the the traitor, you still have to complete the mission of building the towers, which maybe you won't actually get to do. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of fun to be had in that traitor position. They actually give you some recommendations in the rule book for how to do that. Obviously, you can take cubes off. One of the most uh, interesting ones is to just rotate the box when nobody's paying attention. So you, you're getting ready to put on that last piece and then you stick it on the wrong one and you're like, I don't even know what just happened. There's a lot of crazy things that happen while your eyes are closed. 
There is an insert that comes that actually fits all of the pieces very nicely. Um, so we do have a prototype, so it'll be interesting to see if anything changes for the final, but the prototype that we have, everything fits together nicely in the box. Yeah, if you enjoy good, clean, fun games that are quick to play with low rules that are dexterity-based and involve a trader, then definitely check out Hand to Hand Wombat on Kickstarter right now. Then as always, thanks so much for tuning in, watching, commenting, liking, all the things. Our videos here at Tantrum House.